Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer for Tuesday, January the 19th. Both here and in all your churches throughout the world, we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Amen. Day 19. The Third Way of Service. Work. Jesus took on himself the form of a servant. He came not to be served, but to serve. He went about doing good, healing the sick, preaching good news to the poor, and binding up the brokenhearted. O God, you resist the proud and give grace to the humble. Help us not to think proudly, but to serve you with humility that pleases you, so we may walk in the steps of your servant Francis and receive the gift of your grace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is in his holy temple. O come, let us worship. The Vanity. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 28. O Lord, I call to you, my rock. Do not be deaf to my cry, lest, if you do not hear me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my prayer when I cry out to you, when I lift up my hands to your holy of holies. Do not snatch me away with the wicked or with the evildoers who speak peaceably with their neighbors while strife is in their hearts. Repay them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their actions. According to the work of their hands, repay them and give them their just deserts. They have no understanding of the Lord's doings, nor of the works of his hands. Therefore he will break them down and not build them up. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my prayer. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and I have been helped. Therefore, my heart dances for joy, and in my song I will praise him. The Lord is the strength of his people, a safe refuge for his anointed. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Shepherd them and carry them forever. Blessed are you, strong shepherd of your people. You hear us when we lift up our hands in prayer. And through your Son, Jesus Christ, you give us the promise of an eternal inheritance. Blessed are you forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then he went home, and the crowd came together again, so that they could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebub, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him, and spoke to them in parables. 
How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us offer our prayers to the source of all love and all life, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray first for the Church throughout the world. We pray for the Anglican Communion, the Anglican Church of Canada, the province of Rupert's Land, the Diocese of Brandon, and this parish of St. Matthew. Merciful Lord, we pray for all who call themselves Christians, that we may become a royal priesthood, a holy nation, to the praise of Christ Jesus our Savior. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for William, our bishop, for Larry, our assisting bishop, for Greg, our metropolitan, for Mark, our national indigenous archbishop, for Linda, our primate, and for Justin, the Archbishop of Canterbury, and for all bishops and other ministers, that they may remain faithful to their calling and rightly proclaim the word of truth. Lord, Hear our prayer. We pray for Queen Elizabeth, for the leaders of the nations, for our Governor General, our Prime Minister and members of Parliament, our Premier and members of the Legislature, our Mayor and Council, and all in authority, that your people may lead quiet and peaceable lives. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for this city 
and for those who live here. The poor and the rich, the elderly and the young, men and women, that you will show your good will to all. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember today those in our community who suffer from the effects of poverty, homelessness, systemic racism, or prejudice. We also pray for our first responders, our doctors, nurses, and medical technicians, for social workers and mental health workers, for researchers and scientists. And we pray for 7th Street Access, Samaritan House, Helping Hands, Safe and Warm, and the Bear Clan. We pray for the victims of our society and those who minister to them, that you will be their help and defense. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those preparing for baptism, confirmation, or ordination, that they may be strengthened in the faith. Lord, hear our prayer. We give thanks for all the saints who have found favor in your sight from earliest times, prophets, apostles, martyrs, and those whose names are known to you alone. And we pray that we too may be counted among your faithful witnesses. Lord, hear our prayer. In our prayers for the Third Order, we pray today for the European province, for Finland, Sweden, Ireland, Scotland, and Spain. And we pray for Rosemary, Ivaldo, Gary, Helen, Denise, Wes, Charmaine, Gordon, Liz, Richard, John, Rolf, Arlinda, Pilato, Joa, Jim, and Lucy. God, we give you thanks for the Third Order of the Society of St. Francis. Grant, we pray, that being knit together in community and prayer, we, your servants, may glorify your holy name after the example of St. Francis and win others to your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our collect for today. Almighty God, your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, is the light of the world. May your people, illumined by your word and sacraments, shine with the radiance of his glory, that he may be known, worshipped, and obeyed to the ends of the earth, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May our Blessed Lady pray for us. May St. Francis pray for us. May St. Clair pray for us. May all the saints of the Third Order pray for us. May all the holy angels watch over us and befriend us. May our Lord Jesus give us his blessing and his peace. Amen.